Welcome to the SPSS video tutorial on how to import data into SPSS. Now this is for people who are going to be importing a CSV formatted file, which is a comma separated value file. All right, so I've opened up SPSS. It's here in front of you. This is the splash screen that you see. Uh, and what we're gonna use is a new data set. Okay, so we're gonna go to a new data set and we are going to just double click on it and this is what we get nothing which is what we would expect to get okay and then we get this help us improve you do you want them to let you improve it okay so now that we have this what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the file menu and if you look under the file menu you will see import data so if i come down here you will see import data and then it open up, opens up another dialog box. And from that dialog box, you can see right here, CSV data. There's also text data. If you had data from SAS or Stata, you can use those. It says Excel, but you should be a little bit careful with Excel because Excel has a whole bunch of formatting in it. And if your file isn't the nicest format, uh, it will cause problems. Notice there's some database stuff that you can do, but you would have to actually query a database and that's not what this is about. So we're gonna go to CSV data. Okay, we're gonna click on it and it's gonna bring up a dialog box where we can go to find our file. So you do need to know where your file is. I put mine on the desktop because it's the easiest place for me to find it. And I'm going to be opening the one here that's called recycle. Dot csv and you can do this easily uh, with any csv file not just this one but then you would hit open it's going to bring up another dialog box that is generating a preview okay and so here it's giving me a preview of the data and you can see it has resonant recycling distance ts transfer station private disappointed okay the key thing is, is if this first row here is the actual column names then you want to make sure that this box is checked if it doesn't have any column names then don't check that box okay the other thing is is if you have uh, text files if you want it to remove any leading spaces you can do that uh, the key thing here is it's the delimiter between values this is a comma separated values we also have a decimal symbol here which is the, uh, the period in this case now, in different places in the uh, world, you would, might use a comma or you might use a period between them. In some data sets, you might want to put a semicolon or a tab between the datas. Okay, so all we need to do is click OK and wait a second and you will notice that both an output window pops open that tells you what happened. It says it has six variables and 625 cases written. A lot of people ignore this dialog box that pops up and they don't understand what they're looking at. Uh, so they ignore it. But this tells me, look, I had 625 rows of data and I need to make sure that's how many are actually read in. It also tells me about the data type. Okay, it's saying A3, A3, F4.1, A3, and it's telling me about the format of the data that came into SPSS. So if I look at this, I'm going to close this at the moment. Well, I'll minimize it, so I don't want to close that. Um, so here you can see that it has the column headings here um, that I was interested in, distance, transfer. And when it says that it is A, it, three, it's saying that it's a character. That's what the A stands for. And that there are three letters is the maximum number of letters in that character string. So yes has three letters, Y-E-S. Then over here, it had a thing that said F4.1. So it's saying that you could have up to four values before the decimal place. And then point 0.1 means there's one value after the decimal place. And if you look at the values, they all make sure that that occurs. Uh, remember, in SPSS, you can also do a variable view, and you can see what it formatted things as. String, string, numeric, string, string, numeric. Here's where you see the widths, 4.1, decimal places, uh, how many, gives you just different information about it. Uh, whether it's a nominal or a scale variable. And sometimes SPSS gets this wrong, so you might have to fix that. 
All right, so we can go back to the data view, and here's our data. So we successfully read in a CSV file. I would highly recommend you find a CSV file and read it in and see how it works for you. All right, so hopefully this gets you started, and I will see you in the next video.